In Creole Parametric, you can use pictures as decals in appearances. Let me show you what I mean by that. Here I have a model of a tablet and it would really help me convey to the audience what this is if I had a picture on that screen. So I'm gonna start off by creating a brand new appearance to use. I will go to the View tab, and then if you go to the Appearances drop-down menu, you have the Appearances Manager. Right now it's got an appearance selected. I'm going to use the new icon in order to create a brand new appearance. I'm just gonna call this my tablet image for lack of a better name. And then let me go to the decal tab. Be aware that there are a few different tabs in here. Properties is what you use if you want to change the color or any of these other different properties like intensity, ambience, shine, highlight, and so on. And you can create a texture map, which is for having an appearance on surfaces like it's a texture or a bump map which is something with height. But again, I wanna use a picture, so I will go to the decal tab. There is a drop-down list where you can choose off or image. I will change this to image. And then to add an image to this appearance, you click on this box right here. And when I click on it, it's going to go to your textures folder in your graphic library. Comes with every installation of Creo Parametric but I'm gonna to go to my working directory where I have a few awesome photographs that I want to use instead. I'm gonna grab the third one and then choose open. And you can see in this little sphere here what the image looks like. Not really a good representation of it, but that's okay. Now that I've got my appearance created, I will click the close button and it is the active appearance right now. So if I click on the appearance, I now have the ability to apply it to surfaces in my model. So I will select the surface of the screen. In the upper right hand corner, there is the select dialog box. You can click OK or middle mouse button, which is the same thing. And the picture is applied. I can see it on there and you can see how it's highlighting. I'm going to change the highlight in a moment, but it's upside down. I want to change it so that the picture is right side up. To do that, you can go to the Appearances drop down once more, and right above Appearances Manager that I had previously used, we have Edit Model Appearances. And so there are the different appearances that are in the model. It's this one here that I want to change. If you're not sure which one it is, there is an eyedropper icon that you can use and you can pick that surface so that it is selected. What will help you know it's the right appearance is if you expand the preview appearance and you can see that little ball of what it is. And so again, we have these different tabs on here. If I go to the decal tab, right now I have a bunch of controls over how this image is going to appear on that surface. And so there are a bunch of different choices. But again, I just want this to be a picture. I want it rotated and I want it rotated upside down. So I'm just gonna type in a value of 180. And so now it is appearing the right side up. If I go back to the properties tab, maybe I wanna play around with the shine. And so if I crank it up over there, you can see how it changes. And I say, yeah, you know what? A little bit like this is what I want. So I'm happy and I will hit the close button. And that way I now have that awesome appearance of the two most beautiful kitty cats in the world on my computer screen. Now there are a couple of config.pro options you want to be aware of. I'll go to file, options, and options. And then in the configuration editor category, I can use the find button to search for a keyword. I'm gonna search for the keyword texture. And the first one that you want to be aware of is save texture with model. And the default value is no. I recommend that you set it to yes so that any applied textures and trace sketch bitmap files will be saved into the model file itself. The other option to be aware of is texture search path. And you can set that to any folders where you have your different images stored that are used in your different appearances. And so if I want to change that, I can click yes and then add change in order to close that. 
that I want to be sure to export per current filter. And I want to save it into my default config.pro file and then click the OK button to make sure that this image will be retrieved properly the next time. So there you have it. That's how you can apply images to your different model appearances.